Hey guys, Kev here. Thanks for coming back to the channel. I've had my Steam Deck now for about two weeks and I absolutely love this little PC. There's a ton of games for it and I've been having a blast trying out all sorts of them. What you see in the background now is just me playing a little Metroid Dread on the Steam Deck while um, the emulation videos are coming. Just gotta figure out a little bit more things with the emulation before I'm comfortable making those videos. Anyway. In the meantime, here are five indie games in no particular order that I absolutely loved playing on the Steam Deck. Five. My first pick is Guns, Gore, and Cannoli. This side-scrolling shooter slash platformer came out in 2015. It's available on basically every platform. Uh, I happen to play it on PC in 2017. And I've been playing it again recently on the Steam Deck and I absolutely love this game. Um, set in 1920s Prohibition, you're a mobster named Vinny. You arrive on this boat. This is actually the intro of the game and your boat gets infested with zombies and then you get stuck into a city that is stuck in a zombie uh, apocalypse and you just basically try to survive the game isn't super long it's only about two three hours um but it is a lot of fun it is a lot of fun it's highly recommended you get um, a variety of guns um Vinny is a likable character he has some, some really funny one-liners in there um it can get hard you can get overwhelmed and you can play with four player co-op as well Before Garden Warfare, Plants vs. Zombies was a tower defense game. Um, this is the original on PC by PopCap Games, came out in 2009. While there are a couple controller tweaks that you have to do to make this game work, it only takes about 10 seconds um, that I at least had to do to make it work. This game is awesome and so much fun once you get it going. Um, and this is what you do. You you pick your plants and you're just trying to keep them at, uh, at, in your backyard and keep them from invading your home and eating your brains. So you put out your plants, they shoot down the zombies, take down the zombies, and a wide variety of zombies at that. The zombies in this game have a lot of personality, just like they do in Garden Warfare. It's just that it's not a shooter. It's a tower defense game. Try it out, it's like $3 on Steam. Three. Bro Force is a lot of fun if you just like blowing up stuff as 80s action heroes. Cause that's essentially what you're doing. You play as guys like Chuck Norris, um, Rambo, Stallone, all these guys. Um, you know, Van Claude Van Damme. I say 80s, but they've added some 90s um, guys in there too. Like you see Will Smith's rendition of Men in Black. Uh, I've seen Blade in here, George, um, Judge Dredd. All kinds of different um, action heroes from back in the day. And basically you just go in there and just blow stuff up and it is so much fun to do. Um, that, that's really all it is, a platformer side scrolling shooter again. But it's a lot of fun because you can, because of the different weaponry you get and the different abilities you get. Heck, you got to play as uh, Raiden from Mortal Kombat um, as one of the heroes in this game. And they just keep going back every time I play it. And they seem like they have more bros. Um, they have women too. So they, I don't know, they're not going to change the name of the game, but they should do something that um, is a little more inclusive because they have female heroes in here too. Possibly the best Sonic game made in the last 10 years, Sonic Mania. And what's great about it on the Steam Deck is it's just plug and play. You download it, you turn it on, and it just works. Um, it's a lot of fun for anybody who likes those classic um, Genesis style Sega games. If you haven't played Sonic Mania already, you really should. Um, it's a fantastic, basically like a, just a, like a remix of Sonic 2 and Sonic 3. Uh, with, and with some new levels mixed in there. Um, highly recommended as a game, even if you don't play it on the Steam Deck. This is a fantastic game. Um, and of course, it runs great on the Steam Deck as well. Yeah. 
And last but not least, probably my favorite side-scrolling beat-em-up game of all time, that's Streets of Rage 4. If you played Streets of Rage back in the day on the Sega, on the Sega Genesis, you already know the deal. This is just more of that, and it's just bigger and better. Side-scrolling um, beat-em-up action uh, came out in 2020 to rave reviews, and then these guys also came out, and they did the Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge earlier this year. Also a great game on Steam Deck. Um, but yeah, it, it, it's Streets of Rage. It's a side-scrolling beat-em-up. You know what you're getting out of there if you've ever played a side-scrolling beat-em-up, and I think this one was just done exceptionally well and because of that it is probably my favorite indie game at the moment to just pick up and play on the deck 